E-Techno Studs, and when I say studs, I mean both students and you are awesome. Thanks for joining me in these videos. Next up, we're gonna be talking about network address translation, or NAT for short. What NAT does is it allows us to take some private addresses and translate them into public addresses. It originally was created because we are running out of public addresses and we needed a way to make IP version four last a little longer. So they came up with this idea of private addresses and public addresses, and you would have a private address within your enterprise, but then be translated to one or a few different public addresses, therefore saving on the number of public addresses that were being used. However, there are other advantages like security and manageability that we'll get into as well. So in this module, let's get into network address translation. In this module, we'll be covering NAT. It's a pretty cool topic. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out by talking about private addressing or just a little refresher about private addressing. We talked about that in the Network Fundamentals course. I'm just gonna do a quick review. Once we do that, then we'll get into more in-depth NAT topics and concepts. So we're gonna take a look at some NAT concepts. We'll take a look at NAT types, some different ways that we can implement NAT. We're gonna get into NAT commands. I'm gonna do a little just overview of the commands that we're going to cover. And then we'll get into several different demos. And the demos are going to show you the different types of NAT and how we implement these different types of NAT. Then we're gonna get into NAT64, which is our translation between uh, IP version six and IP version, IP version four and vice versa. We'll get into our project work, which is what we're going to implement on our network from this point forward. We'll implement that uh, and solidify that. And then we'll talk about some troubleshooting with NAT. 